Welcome to 2013, everybody. As part of my New Year's resolution, I'm going to do more video this year. Last year, I failed miserably at doing so, and this year, I'm, I'm going to do it. I promise this time. Now that I'm semi-nomadic, it's a lot easier for me to sit down and do these monthly Q&As. And I really like doing them because, you know, I can't answer a lot of these questions in full blog posts. So this gives me a chance to answer, you know, a few quick questions and really get to uh, help you out in travel. And this month, we have a lot of really good questions. I was pretty impressed with the depth and creativity of them. So, let's start. First question comes from Jackie. If I could go to the moon, would I? Of course, that would be a great trip. Now, I'm really scared of heights and I'd probably freak out as we exit the uh, atmosphere, but that would be a pretty cool trip. Probably pretty humbling too to, to see Earth from such a great distance. Next question comes from Tony. Uh, what is the most underrated country or region in the world? Personally, I think it's the far eastern part of Europe, Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, amazing countries, great value, friendly locals, beautiful countryside, one of the best areas of the world I've ever visited, and one I highly suggest all of you try to get to, especially before they join the Euro and things become a lot more expensive. Ivy asks, have I ever met someone that, have I ever met someone that, keep, that would keep me in one place? Uh, yeah, I have a few times, but that, that side of my personal life, I don't really like to get into on my blog. Um, but yes, I have. Grace says, if I want to go teach in Thailand, is it better to do it alone or go through a company? Uh, as long as you have a TEFL degree or a licensed teacher, it's really easy to find a job. Uh, I, I don't really see the point of going through a company. If you simply go to the website, arjan.com, you can find a lot of job lessons there. And that's what I did when I moved there. Danielle asks, what advice would you have for traveling with expensive equipment? As someone that travels with expensive equipment, I recommend three things. One, keep it all locked up when you're not using it. When you're around, keep it in your sight. And three, keep it insured. You can use some companies that will insure electronics. Uh, if you're in the US, you can use Clements.com. They're a pretty good company and offer a high amount of coverage. All right, Alberto asks, if I had 10 days in Greece and Italy, what would I do? Um, I wouldn't go to Greece and Italy, I would go to Greece or Italy. If I would, had 10 days in Greece, I would do Athens for about three days uh, and the rest of the four days in the islands. If I had uh, 10 days in Italy, I would do Rome, Florence, and somewhere around Tuscany or if that's not really your thing, you could add Venice in. But doing two countries in 10 days is just too much. And travel, less is more. Seven asks, what is good long-term travel insurance for nomads? Uh, if you're just looking for travel insurance, I like the company World Nomads. If you're looking for more in-depth medical insurance, you know, things where you can see a general practitioner and get regular checkups, uh, also, the insurance company Clements.com is really good. They offer really good expat insurance, which is what you want. Uh, Daniel asks, if I'm going to the Middle East, where can I get some good information? I've never been to the Middle East, but if you Google the name Lara Dunstan, she has traveled extensively throughout the region and is a really good resource on Middle Eastern travel. Angela asks, have I ever been to any concerts overseas? Actually, I've only been to a couple, and oddly enough, they've all been in Germany. I've seen a lot of German punk rock bands, and I'm not really a big fan of German punk rock, but a lot of my couch surfing hosts take me there, and they've been fun and a really interesting cultural experience. So until next month, you can leave comments and questions in the comments section below. And until then, travel safe, travel well, and travel often. Goodbye.